Come here, come here. Have a seat. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <laughs> Meg, come back here. I meant sex. Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because well, if I don't, there's two guys who are going to tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh, my God, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but will you... <laughs> You're gonna die alone, you dick. Griffin. Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their oh, okay, okay, yeah, there we go. All right, everything worked out. Okay, kids, we're gonna start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away. <sighs> All right, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. I've been dying to get back on television ever since I stopped hosting Family Feud. How are you, Betsy? Welcome to the show. You are a lovely young woman. And let me just get my hand up there and feel that one. And that one. And we're looking for something you shop for at the mall. Three seconds. I wonder what happened to Cindy. Dear Diary, jackpot. I lost my job, I lost my house, my wife left me for a bigger cock. You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sir, Bernie. Holy moly, that's a huge cock. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll-aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer. I have some stamps. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. <laughs> You're good to go. Guys, I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all going to be worth it. Trust me. Because the spices here are amazing. Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not over yet. Come on. It's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I can hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. Oh, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode. No sauce for you, <laughs> right? You missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. Humpty, your sock is drooping. You should totally pull it up. Really? I, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Just lean a little further and get it. <laughs> you think you can bang Leslie and I'm not going to do anything about it? Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? We'll go celebrate at the clam. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we can all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Can I take Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This group needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. All right, let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We've got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because i got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. I love Peter. I'd follow him anywhere. Except onto an elevator. He fat, man. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I... With you. Now go take the bus home with the rest of the poor people. The bus? Ah, I was aiming for the church. God angry now! Ay, 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 ay. Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. <laughs> 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 
Come on, Stewie. Forget it. Ah! Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! <laughs> that was good! What else you got? We now return to Rational Geographic. Upon realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to stay in the office. Oh, Peter, I'm gonna have to call the police on this. What? Why? It's to get our wives back to get it. Peter, these are hundreds of naked babies in suggestive situations, and they're time-stamped as far back as 1998, which is way before we had this idea. I need help. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. Always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. Where do you think you are? This isn't a doctor's office. This is the pound. You're being euthanized. What? Jess is having me put down? Oh my god, this can't be happening! Did you also eat a kid? These camps don't sound fun at all. Well, Chris, camp is only as fun as you make it. That's how it was in World War II. Don't suppose it would help to say I have a note from my doctor. <laughs> Get in there, you. What the hell? Oh, for God's sakes, where's that white noise machine? Help! Help! Oh, my God! Help! Somebody help me! <sighs> Let me get this straight. None of you guys has ever heard of Bono? He says he knows you. Daddy, what the hell are you doing? You throw Peter in jail? Hey, Pumpkin, welcome! Whatever you do, don't tell them you have a clitoris. Yeah, they told me that at the embassy. Oh, see? Laughter is the best medicine. Please, sir, I'm in so much pain. Shut up and listen to my material. Huh, what's this? Bedpan, Peter Pan. Oh, next stop is Neverland. Come, Wendy, fly with me. Ho, uh ho. -huh. What are you doing here? I thought you were having Thanksgiving with your parents. Chris got caught watching Cousin Katie pee, so that kind of ended things. No, I wanted to get caught. That's, that's part of it. Nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. Yeah, brown family. Oh, oh, my goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I write descriptions of my patients to help me remember them. No, it's okay. Our last name is Brown. Oh, okay, phew. Ah, then this must be Chubster Dum Dum. Oh my 
God, I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. Oh, worth it. Totally worth it. I assume you heard of the alphabet. You want to explain to me how Sammy Popsicle comes before napping various? Jeez, I'm sorry. Well, can we watch Lost Boys? I've heard of that one. Those? Those are different Lost Boys. Blind Justice. He lost his sight, but not his vision. I need you to go down to 54th and Main. Talk to the suspect's wife. While you're there, see if you can get a sample of his hair to match his DNA. All right, I'm on it. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. <laughs> no. Hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids! Yeah, unpettable! I miss biting kids. That reminds me, I've got to send this back where it came from. Hmm, starting to think that guy wasn't a real modeling agent. And I'm starting to think that other guy wasn't a real penis butt inspector. What the hell happened to all the smart genes in this family? I mean, I invent the razor blade comb and my kids are doing nothing. I mean, when Chris grows up, will he even be able to get a job or uh, take care of himself? And what's he gonna do when we die? Well, there's a new procedure that, if administered immediately, should restore his ability to walk. $200,000. We also have a wheelchair. $60. Okay. They're going with B. So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and won't go one way and won't go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> You stay out my store! All you stay out my store! I remember you face! Okay now, I'm an excellent night nurse, so you two get some much deserved sleep and don't worry about a thing. I will take such loving care of this wonderful little gift, and when you wake up well rested, your precious little baby will be smiling as bright as the sun. It's dead. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Hey, Meg, I stood outside Planned Parenthood for 36 hours, and here are the pictures of every girl in your class who went in. All right, good. Now I want you to call them as if you're their dead baby. Really? Yeah, th that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. Only a half a point divides our top two competitors as we enter the last event, the Meg Roll. I'm sorry, Chris. Jerome just doesn't think his daughter should date a white guy. Black racism is the biggest problem facing this country today. I, I can't, I can't believe. I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. Oh my God, this is so much faster than Firefox. <laughs> All right, let me go to Facebook. F A. Uh, it's auto-filling, fat butt rodeo. Peter! You were supposed to stay on Firefox. <laughs> the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us, but it's with great pride that I'm going to turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. That can't be good for you. Dr. Hartman said you were done with that thing. I'm not going to listen to that bozo. Of course I'm still wearing it. Watch me jump this line. Excuse me, I have scoliosis. Excuse me, scoliosis coming through. Hey, pal. Polio. A thousand apologies. I'm really, really sorry about your big noses. I'm really sorry about how greedy you are. But most of all, I'm really sorry about your dirty, underhanded, backstabbing ways.
Your number one dirty Jew fan, Mel Gibson. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, golf on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money. We now return to the NBA on TNT on LSD. Man, I'm out my mind! We now return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. It was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. Here's my post office key. I need you to go downtown and get the stuff from my P.O. box. You, you don't get your mail here? No. I get a lot of private correspondence from the Netherlands. Like what? Like I'm part of a group that kind of trashes Anne Frank's house every year to go to the library to wipe boogers in fancy books. I like to wipe mine in Bronte novels. It's like a time bomb to gross out lonely chicks. Oh, Heathcliff. Oh, come on! I want so little! I figured the day you came home with a girl, we'd have to back her through the garage. A little further, a little further, a little further. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, all right. Now, do you prefer Fatty or Miss Boombaletti? Oh my God, the president's been shot! If you ask me, the president's the lucky one. How's that? He doesn't have to sit through the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. President! Mr. President, up here! I voted for you! Wait a minute. That guy on the grassy knoll's got a gun. He's gonna shoot the president. Holy smokes, I've gotta do something. All right, Lee, time to become an American hero. Oh my God, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> wow, that was super loud. 